All right, let's review this a little bit here. We've done so much. We've changed numbers into base 10 blocks. We've changed numbers into counters. And now we've got one more to go, and that's changing numbers into expanded form. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So with expanded form, let's review first of all. If the question says, write the number 235 in expanded form, let's review first of all what numbers look like when you use base 10 blocks. So here's 235, it's just the same number. All I did was I wrote it here and I wrote HTO below it just to help me organize my thoughts a little bit. Remember when we drew base 10 blocks? We drew two of the hundreds. For the three, we drew them as rods. And then for the ones, we drew them as little baby ones. And now we've got our number using base 10 blocks. Now expanded form, all that means is turn the base 10 blocks into numbers. So here, what do I mean by that? I mean, look, we got two of the hundreds. How much does that make? Got 100 and 100, that makes 200. So we write 200. Here we got 10, 10, and 10. Three rods makes 10, 20, 30. That's all it is. You got to write 30. And then five ones. Now look, ones are worth just one. So you just go one, two, three, four, five. And that's expanded form. I don't care about this stuff here. That I just use that to help me out, but I don't need it. All I care about is here. This is the expanded form part right there. Let me, let me block it. That's expanded form. Let's look at example two. Write the number 303 in expanded form. So first off, I'm going to show the number 303. I'm going to use the base 10 blocks to help me out. Three of the hundreds. I got zero flats, so I'm going to leave it blank. And I need three of the ones. So I show three ones. Now for expanded form, I got to turn these blocks into numbers. So let's count them. Count them with me. Are you paying attention? We got 100, 200, 300. Plus, we need more blocks. I got nothing in the tens. So I'm just going to write nothing. Zero. And I've got three of the ones. Three of the ones. And that's expanded form. It's done. Now why do we put these plus signs there? That's important to know. And the reason for that is because... The final answer, if I add 300, 300 blocks here, and I add them to zero blocks, and I add them to three, I got to put all of them together, right? I'm adding them together. I'm mixing them up together to get my answer, which is 303. This makes the number that they were talking about in the question, but I have to plus them together to get that answer. How about this one? What number does this represent? Now I'm going backwards here. I'm giving you expanded form and I'm asking you to give me the number. So look, always start HTO. Now look at it. We've got 400 here. So this is where people mess up. They go like this. Let me show you how people mess up. They go, okay, 400. I'll just write 400 like that. And this is 50. I'll just write 50. And this is three. And that means three. If you did that, you're doing it all wrong. Let me show you the right way to do it. Okay, the right way is to say, okay, 400, that must mean, the only way to get 400 is to use four flats. That's right. You need four of them. See, four of them makes 400. You don't have to write 400. Just write four. 50? How many rods make 50? Five. So you got five over here. See, the five goes here, four goes there, and then the three just sits right there. 453. And this is how you know you did it wrong. First off, you can't have a number bigger than 9 in any of these blanks. Okay? Notice all of these are less than 9. Every question we've ever done, the number that goes in the place value in the H or the T or the O always has to be 9 or less. Okay? So if you write 400 here, that's way more than 9. If you wrote 50 here and you wrote 3 over here, look what you're going to get. You're going to get 4. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? That's wrong. But this looks right. How about this one? What number does that represent? You know what we're going to do? We're going to use the same system we did for the last question. HTO. Now for the 100, don't go and write 100 over here. Because remember, it's got to be less than 9. You just write the 1. Because look, 1 of the 100s makes 100. 0 10s, that's easy. And then 6 1s. Done. One more question. What number does that represent? I'm sure you could do this. Mr. Mom, I got this. No problem. This ain't going to fool me. I got HTO. Okay, good start. 200. So that must mean I got to put a 2. Yeah. Now you're getting it. You see? 
two of the hundreds makes two hundred. And how many, how many rods? The tens. Remember the rods. How many of those do I need? Five of them. Five rods makes, count them on your, hold five fingers up. Imagine those are your rods. How much are rods worth? Ten. So count them. Point at your thumb. Just point at it. No, seriously. Just point at your thumb. Point at it. That's ten. Point at the finger next to it. That's another ten. That makes twenty. Point at your next finger. That's thirty. Point at your next finger. That's forty. Point at your last finger. That's fifty. You got five rods, baby. You look. You got five here. That's fifty. And then zero for the ones. We got two hundred fifty. So this represents two hundred fifty. 